Welcome to our virtual trip through the Texas Estate Aquarium. In this virtual field trip through the aquarium, we are going to view different ecosystems along with the effects they have on one another and along with the effects humans have on them. Let's consider the following questions and come up with some ideas. What is an ecosystem? What about uh, producers, consumers, predators, and prey? And finally, how do short and long-term changes like global warming affect ecosystems? So let's begin with what an ecosystem is. An ecosystem is a community of living things along with their environment. Now take a look and think about the coral reefs seen in this movie and the different animals and fish living within them. These are all part of an ecosystem. Now ecosystems also consist of biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are living components of an environment, such as fish, algae, and plants, while abiotic factors are non-living components, for instance, oxygen, temperature, and man-made things. What are, the, what are some of the biotic and abiotic factors seen so far throughout the film? Now getting back to biotic factors, most ecosystems contain the following types of organisms, producers, consumers, predators, and prey. Now think about what we have previously discussed. What are producers? What are consumers? What about predators and prey? Have you seen any of these organisms in this film? Now the abiotic factors. What abiotic factors do you think has the greatest impact on this oceanic system and ecosystems all over? Well, if you said temperature, you are correct. I'm sure you've heard the term global warming at some point, but do not know what it actually means. Well, global warming is the gradual increase in air temperature near the Earth's surface. This can cause drastic and disastrous consequences to ecosystems. Think about where animals live and how they get or produce their food. Global warming, for instance, can cause sea levels to rise as well as uh, raise the temperature of the water. If this occurs, then homeostasis or the balance is lost. Marine and land animals who depend on the oceans for sustenance would have a very difficult time finding food or a suitable home. So with all this, we ask again, can we simply ignore the trend of rising temperatures or is global warming something we should really be concerned about?